I'm here in the Yorkshire Dales to meet some of the people involved in the current conservation efforts. We'll see efforts to understand bat populations, the beauty of the peregrine falcons at Malham Cove, and what's being done to protect the white-clawed crayfish. But first I'm following a walk from Hawes to Snaysham. The route follows part of the Pennine Way, the National Trail, uh, that runs from Derbyshire up to Northumberland. Um, it also uses part of the existing open access land to, uh, to link the Pennine Way down uh, into Snaysholm itself and then follow some historic footpaths across Snaysholm, crossing Snaysholm Beck and up into the forestry plantation uh, to, the, to the viewpoint. This viewpoint was set up by the landowner, Hugh Kemp, with the help from the Yorkshire Dales National Park Authority and the Forestry Commission for a group of delightful little creatures. <laughs> The Red Squirrel Feeding Station is nestled in coniferous woodland just off the public footpath, giving visitors a close encounter with its inhabitants. I've come to meet Ian Court of the Yorkshire Dales National Park Authority to find out about their conservation and gain some insight into monitoring local populations. One of the key things the National Park Authority has been doing in recent years is to work out the distribution of, of red squirrels. At sites like this they're very obvious where they're coming down to feeders, but in areas of woodland where there's no public access, it's, it's been difficult to know what the actual distribution has been. So we've been working closely using a lot of our Dales volunteers to actually survey and monitor areas so we can work out the true distribution of the red squirrels. And with the invasion of the grey squirrel, a haven like this one here at Snaysham is more than welcome. The red squirrels here are very active and numerous, but how well are the local populations doing? The local population is doing relatively well at the moment for red squirrels. They've moved into this area of North Yorkshire from adjacent areas of Cumbria in the last 15 years. The conifer woodlands like this one here have come to cone bearing age, so there's plenty of food for them. So the population is quite widespread in this particular area. This is largely thanks to Hugh, who arrived here in 1967 with his wife Jane, growing Christmas trees. In the early 1990s, they dedicated their time transforming the woodland into a habitat for bird life. But when the squirrels arrived in 1997, Hugh has been building them a happy home ever since. The red squirrels adore um, the, the cones of Scots pine, larch and sickle spruce, noble fir, and we still got uh, stands of, of noble fir, which originally we were growing as uh, Christmas trees. We've left those specifically really, initially that, that they were set aside for the bird life, but now um, we, we know that uh, the red squirrels adore uh, the tones of noble fur. And with his experience as a forester, Hugh has cultivated a mosaic of tree species, creating habitats for a huge array of wildlife. He uses a variety of woodland management techniques to create this hospitable environment, and he explained to me why he ring barks sycamores to remove unwanted trees and thin, overly dense woodland. Ring barking uh, these sycamore, it takes the, uh, the sycamore on average about three to four years to die, uh, and it will stay standing upright, but uh, it will no longer be of any interest to the grey squirrels. Meanwhile, it will be uh, dying off and producing insects, which will be great for the bird life and the red squirrels, because red squirrels adore um, a certain amount of insects in, in their diet. He must be doing something right, because love was in the air at the feeding station.
So one of the misconceptions about red squirrels is that they actually do hibernate over over winter, but that's not actually true. They are active throughout the year. Uh, they they don't like cold, wet weather in the winter, so they might become less active over a period of a few days at really bad weather. But they will have to feed after a few days, so they will be out and about and visiting feeders like this throughout the year. The red squirrel is the only native native species of squirrel you get in this country. So it, you know it's been here for for thousands, millions of years. So it's a part of our heritage, one of our native species. It's really important to protect. And I quite agree. So I asked Ian how we the public could get involved in protecting our red squirrels. The general public can play a real key part in this really in helping us work out where the squirrels are. So a lot of the work we've done looking at the distribution, some of that work has come from members of the public who have sent in sight into the National Park Authority. So if you're out and about in the Yorkshire Dales National Park in an area like this, go to the National Park website, fill in a form and send in your sightings and you can play a, a real part in actually help us work out the distribution of this particular species. The outlook for red squirrels hasn't been bright since the early 1900s, as the grey squirrels spread throughout the UK. But here in the Yorkshire Dales, we're breaking that trend. Nationally, the red squirrel population has been declining in both numbers in range in recent years because of the problems caused by the introduced grey squirrels. Here in the Yorkshire Dales National Park, it's been a real success story, as we've actually shown that the range of the red squirrel has actually increased. So they've moved from adjacent areas of Cumbria into areas of North Yorkshire like this, into the conifer plantations we're studying now. And the beauty of the feeding station is that it's open to the public to interact and enjoy these wonderful animals all year round. The Yorkshire Dales National Park Authority has provided all the resources you need to follow the walk, from Hawes to Snazen. You can find out information about the trail from uh, our website and there's a uh, trail map and also an MP3 download on the website and, uh, and instructions for how to get along the route as well. Talking to the area ranger Matt Neal, it's evident that the National Park Authority puts conservation at the heart of its work here in the Yorkshire Dales. Actually getting people involved in conservation uh, and giving people an opportunity to see something um, is very important, not just for red squirrels and not just for this area, but also trying to engage people in conservation in general, um, whether it's in this area, in this national park or, or across the world. I've met some amazing people working to protect a wonderful place, though I can't help but think I have barely scratched the surface. Mm -hmm.